So what's the why behind, what's the topic and message? You know, what? what? Yes. What yes, I know. And I've never told that story to anybody. Um, so I decided to put it in a book and it, as a collaboration and it became a bestseller. So lots of people know about it now, um, <laughs> except for my girls. <laughs> so, that right? They I, don't know? At the moment because uh, they were going through study and all these other things and and so I was, I'm very respectful about letting them know um I'm stepmom and because I grew up in such a uh in volume three which I was very blessed to be in thank you Lonnie you I I explained about my childhood was a, a extreme violent psychiatric illness from my mother's hand and so I I literally shut down and and I could not I I, I had no childhood uh, I lived in fear and I there was no relationship to children and a child's mind and so growing up I you know I, I never thought I I never want to have babies I I I don't want to have children I couldn't even connect with my sister's children um, and and so. All of a sudden, because I think in the opening chapter, I, I may have already said that uh, what we often resist are our greatest teachers. Yeah, that sounds like <laughs> <And> you. <laughs> yes, yes. And so my my partner, after a couple of <laughs> a very um, abusive marriages, my my new partner had two baby girls. And so... It was an interesting time that I had to go through of, okay, well, I like the guy, but he's got yeah. a package. Yeah. <laughs> he, 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 he came with extras. <laughs> and um, and, and I, I, I could not connect to the girls. But what, what happened, because I'm, I live with the philosophy that Everything happens for a reason and life happens for us and not to us. And I needed to know why I was left with the responsibility if I chose to take the mission to parent somebody else's children from babies. Wow. And it was more out of curiosity of what am I meant to learn out of this? And as the book unfolds, as you saw, I was very disconnected to them for pretty much their whole upbringing. Yeah, I, like a boot camp, I, boot camp leader. It was like a boot camp leader um, because there was no emotion there. There was no, there was literally no connection. And wow. what, what Brad, because Brad, my partner, had a very abusive upbringing as well, uh, very violent and he was the he, he is the most incredible dad. He said all I had to do was flip everything opposite and my girls would be okay. So he mm. chose to break the cycle. Yeah. I, I just chose to almost be like an observer in the whole weird world that I was I had all of a sudden been been plopped into. Yeah. But as I learned, Lonnie, and, and the big message in this book, it's about conscious parenting. And that. what the girls taught me was to see through the eyes of a child that had love and nurturing and protection and fun and giggling nice. and, and just being kids because I never got that. I didn't know what it was like. And so my walls very slowly came down over those years and it really wasn't until in the last five years as they're, they're young adults and they've told me how much that I've meant to them for being a strong parent <laughs> oh. um, but also of, of protecting them and being a great leader of 
helping instill belief in them that they can be anything that they want to, they can do anything, they have the power to have a magnificent life. And so it, it my experience turned into I never wanted to be a parent to I've just created uh, a beautiful environment of conscious parenting that I didn't even know that I had in me and it, it was a healing journey for me. And okay. so all of that reflection is really about they taught me so much that I needed to have in my heart. And so I'm so blessed. And so it is all about we if if our childhood was terrible in whatever way, we 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 need to learn from those lessons and make sure that we don't inflict our stuff, our belief systems, our garbage onto those beautiful innocent bubbling bliss bombs of joy exactly. that we have the gift of them being in our life to teach yeah. us yeah. so yeah conscious parenting yeah there's that it's such a powerful chapter i i thank you for sharing that unique story in your life with everybody and if any, if you're listening and you are, you're relating to this on one side or the other, you know, one of the things I, I, I really encourage you to, to pick up Rattled Awake volume five and read, read Lisa's chapter, because I never wanted to be a mother is a very, very powerful, very powerful writing. And, and whether you're the, the kid that's looking at the mom, like, why don't you care? Yeah. Um, or you're the parent that's like, I don't know why I don't care. There's something, and you know it. Um, you can find something in in Lisa's chapter, guys. If you're if you're at all struggling, you know, and and wondering what's the word conscious parenting even mean. Um, there, it's all in there. You did a fantastic job, Lisa. Mm -hmm. And yeah, especially for tackling a topic like this that you've never done before, you've never shared before. I really appreciate that. And and so does the rest of the world, if I can talk for everybody else. 